got an Optiplex 990 motherboard and CPU cooler, $20 from eBay. An old 430 watt power supply took out of some old freebie. A $39 Cooler Master Mini ATX case that found browsing Newegg. And an Intel Xeon a viewer sent me in a box of his old unwanted computer parts. Pretty cool. What does this all mean? Well, it means we're going to run into the old dreaded press F1 to continue error. But we just might end up with something cool. For those who don't know of the old F1 to continue error, it happens when the BIOS runs through its boot list and realizes, well, hey, not everything is attached to this board. As many people know, Dell is very proprietary in their PC parts. They're exclusive to their own systems only. Well, I've come to terms knowing that I'll probably never be able to afford a Threadripper, nor GTX 1080 while they are still popular, but I don't personally know anybody who would even notice if I did. But today, I'll tell you what, people do notice my Optiplexes or my HPs. So hey, this is just a fun video, guys. There's just Follow along and, you know, see how this thing turned out. The standard ATX, you could see I didn't have to do much. Uh, just painted a few things. As for bypassing the errors, I could mod and buy the parts, but why not just set the AC after power outage option to on? Press F1. Ah, uh, so we got a quad core Xeon, 8 gigs of HyperX DDR3, Windows 10, and a GTX 1050. Surely this must do a little something, right? Let's find out. 